Welcome again to Comp Party Game Show. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get Fantasy Star Online 2 with the English patches and how to make a Sega ID. It's going to take real easy. Let me show you the website that you're going to need right up front real quick. I'm definitely going to have the links down below in the description. Uh, the first thing you want to need for the um, making the Sega ID, which is Lex Logos, which is basically for the kanjis that you're going to need it. And the next one is going to be Arc Layer. Which is basically for the English patches. And next, this is I. And the last one is on DS3 tools. You don't really need this to play Fantasy Star Online, but you can use a controller with Fantasy Star Online. The cool thing about this is that you can also use it with different games and stuff like that. This is just letting you use a PlayStation 3 controller. If you don't have an Xbox 360 wire controller laying around your house, you can use a PlayStation 3 controller. Right. Alright, guys, once you're on this website, you want to come down here to the blue Pentagon and click that. And it's going to take you to this website, which is the same one, basically. And you want to come here to download Fantasy Star Online 2. So let's just click that. Once you do it, it's going to be downloading. We're going to open it. And what you're going to do, you're going to hit this right here. It's going to give me an error because I already have it downloaded. So I'm just going to click no. And it's once it's downloaded, it's going to install these two things. This is the Fantasy Star Online 2, but you want the Fantasy Star Online 2 setup. So once you click, it's going to say, yeah, you just want to press yes, and it's going to start downloading. But I'm, for me, like I already have it downloaded, I'm going to press no. The next step we want to do is get our Sega ID. I recommend using Google Chrome for this as well. And we want to come to the fourth step. And here we're going to go get our Sega ID. Now for the Sega ID, it's going to be, this is why I recommend Google Translate because you want to translate all this stuff. For the Sega ID, we're going to, I'm in a new, you know, a new account for this. And we're going to, you know, go right into it. PSO. Alright, so there we go. I have my, uh, put my email in. And once you do that, you want to definitely agree to Sega, you know, terms of use. And just click here, this blue icon, just to, you know. And just give it a quick set. Well, there we go. It finished loading. It didn't take really that long. I just, you know, it took like a second. But um, here you go. It's basically telling you you have received an email address, you know, to your email address. So I'm going to go come here to my email address. And boom, there we go. So here we go. We're going to have Sega ID new. And we're going to open it up. Once we open it up here, it's just basically telling We're going to come right here to this link just to, you know, which is going to take us to the Sega ID terms now. Which is funny. Okay, here we go. This is um, it's gonna be a little bit, you know, kind of confusing, but we get it down. Boom. Um, first available check. You wanna make a ID, a Sega ID of your choice, you know. So we're gonna um, just make here something real quick and let's check it out. So I put Killer Cool. Don't know why. Let's check if it's available. And I'm assuming it is available. Yep, it's available. There we go. Now I need to translate this again because you know it loves just choosing. And I'll create a password and I'm gonna create a password here, which is gonna Alright guys, so I came back and I made the um, password. It was giving me a little problem there for a minute because uh, I guess the password every password I was making was just you know not right. But here we're gonna go in and just put in some birthday. This we just gonna you know one, two, three, four, yes, six months, and we're gonna, you know, whatever, we're just gonna, you know. Japanese people that love making it. We're just gonna rock it, you know. Oh, 18. Question. So we still have a question, whatever. Just so pretty simple stuff, you know. Kind of you were born, it's just on rock. Let's, you know, name, put something here. Just. Just put. Alright, there we go. We got ideas of this, and this is where everything comes in. Now here in this part, you see, it's something that you be like, how am I supposed to do that? But guys, don't worry, I got you covered here. Now the important part is you want to lower this down here, and I know that I'm probably moving a little bit too fast, but it's it's um God, it's, it's so it's okay. We just gonna screw this over here, and now you want to need this thing here, which I believe is um kanji. Yeah, that's what it is, kanji. And now you want to find this letter here. So I'm gonna come here and find this letter, and I'll be right back. Um, Alright guys, I'm back. So now that I finished getting all, you know, all this correct, it's, it's a, it takes a little bit. Just You want to make 100% sure that it's correct because you really don't want to do this again. Basically what you're going to do is copy and paste. Uh, you're going to um, paste this here and hopefully I'm right. So let's just check it out. And...
there we go so let's open this back up so there we go um so i gotta write this down because sometimes you just forget you know um all right guys here we go and definitely this is where it's gonna take you once you you know you finish everything and somebody just send me a message um so we're gonna click here real quick to just go to the next step so there's a fourth step and now we wanna you know yes definitely we want to translate this ready to start the fantasy star online 2 it's not ready um you know um move to play to the you know player set or whatever so let's just move on and there you go you got your sega id and it's ready and set up that's basically how simple it is to make the sega id um the only thing is it really takes time with um let's go back up here on um, using this you want to really make sure that you get everything right so now for the next step the next step will be coming to this website which is called arts um layer and what you want to do is download PSO2 Tweaker. Once you have that downloaded, you want to come to uh, Show in Folder. What you want to do, you want to open a new folder. So you see I have one already here. And it's so that the Tweaker can organize the patches. So now let me show you what the Tweaker looks like when you open it up. Just want to click Yes to run it. Close this and this is what the tweaker looks like and you will come here and you're gonna go to install slash update patches and you want to click on, on the English patches and if you want to press no and this is gonna um, update it all right guys all right this is the last step this is just an extra step you don't really need to do this step this is only if you want to use a PlayStation 3 controller uh, aka a DualShock 3 controller but it's straightforward you just come here and download it and um i'll show you that how that looks right now um where is it is okay i got it open it's right here this is the um ds3 um tool and which you can see 100 percent that means the controller is working and what you want to pick you don't want to pick the ps3 controller you want to pick the xbox 360 controller and you're going to click that and next it's pretty simple you're going to vibrate test to make sure that it's working and enable and that's pretty much it. Alright guys, let's go right into um, Fantasy Star Online 2 so you guys can see that the patches um, do work. So here you can see the um, the patches. Well, this, this the patch doesn't work for this. But the patches is working. So here, I'm using my um, DualShock 3 controller and let's just press pause. And you can see the patch and everything is working, you know, pretty good. And you can see here in the inventory, everything's working good as well. Everything is translated to English. You can check the items out as well. It's really cool, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe. And leave your comments down below if you have any problem. Alright guys, peace.